Now, in this video, I will demonstrate how to estimate radial distribution function in VMT from a simulation run in LAMPS. To begin, ensure your LAMPS script is prepared to generate trajectory which is compatible with VMT. For compatibility, it is recommended to output the trajectory in XTC5 format. This ensures smooth RDF calculations in VMT. Include this in your LAMP script, run the simulation, and generate the trajectory file. I will now show you uh, how to perform the post-processing steps. Here we have two files, the data file and the trajectory file. Both are essential. First, load the data file into VMT and then load the trajectory on top of it. So first we will load the, the data file. Now, since LAMPS data files are not directly compatible with uh, VMT, we have to use uh, an extension called the Turbo Tools. So if you try to load the molecule the other way, it may not work. I'll show you that here. So the only closest option I could find was the LAMPS trajectory, which is not uh, actually a LAMPS trajectory. Instead, it's a LAMPS data file. So you may want to navigate uh, to the folder that these files are located in the TK console. You can use uh, the, the CD command to change the directory and LS command is to list all the directories and files in a, within a specific directory. So once you are in the folder that you want to perform these operations, you can load that data file using the command topo read lamps data and the file name of the data file. In this case, it is uh, production out dot data. And that way it will load into the VMT and you can do the basic uh, operations like you know, changing the display type and et cetera. And now once you're done with it, you can now load the trajectory that is kept in XTZ file on top of it. So for that, select that file and then go to file and load data into molecule. And this time select that XTZ file and click open. Now here you have two, three options. One, uh, you can load all the frames within the file or you can select the first and the last frame or you can also use the stride. Stride is basically how many frames you want to skip in between. So I'm gonna use 10 in here because I have a lot of frames. So from that, you can load the trajectory into the system So once it is loaded, you can use the analysis extension from where you can find the radial pair distribution function extension. So from there, use the molecule, select the option of the data file that you have loaded. And to understand what should be the selection one and two, go to graphics display, and then find out the name uh, that was given in the atoms. So sometimes it will be helium, sometimes it will be hydrogen. So depending upon what atoms you are estimating the radial distribution function, so correspondingly you have to give that option in here. So for here, I'm using only uh, one atom and uh, the RDF is estimated between it. So I will use name two and name two, and I don't need to worry about the skipping the frame in here. And because I have already taken care while I was loading the data file. Uh, so uh, you had to use periodic boundary condition if the system is periodic. Uh, if not, you can uncheck that option. Here, system is periodic, so I'm going to use uh, PBC option. 
and update selections are important if you have a time dependent changes within the molecular positions or atomic positions and the rest of the things are optional depending upon whether you want to visualize the rdf if you want to save the rdf to a file you have to choose one of them either display or save to file option so here i am using both of those options and computing it uh, depending on your speed of the computer it may look either froze or uh, it is not working uh, but you know if you have a faster computer it will appear this fast in either if, if it looks frozen then you can go to the cmd window and make sure if it is happening in the background or not so once the calculations are done you can use this particular plot to you know read the rdf and uh, since we have checked the file write to file option it was actually asking for a file uh, here I'm using the default option and then return that to a file. Now, once you get this plot, you can either export this to various formats like export to ASCII uh, and see, you know, so and so. And I have already exported that into here. The multiplot that data is how it will look like. And you can edit it in a standard text editor or you can use it in Excel sheet. So that the data will look like in two columns, depending upon how many pair distribution functions, sorry, how many pairs you are estimating the uh, RDF.